Congratulations. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so it looked very easy, maybe, to the last lap. Talk us how you felt, and uh, I've never seen a guy have to turn his head twice to look back. Everyone was so far behind. Yeah, you. sorry. Uh, I felt fantastic, literally, to the last 200. I mean, I started hearing the splits like 66, 65, and I just felt like I could just keep pressing, no problem. And uh, I felt really smooth, honestly. I came out, out of that prelim just so relaxed. Like, that was one of the easiest evils I ever ran. That prelim it was perfect, exactly what I wanted. And uh, I knew I had the strength to recover and come back the second day and just, you know, an opportunity presented myself where I almost just said, I'm going to go for it. I know I'm fitter, I'm faster. I just started to press up front and I started to get some separation. And so I just kept on ratcheting it down. And uh, like I said, it felt great until like, I lost water pit. And then I felt like I was swimming through water in the last 200. But, Hey, I won. I got there. Yeah, you, you came out looking a little gimpy. Was <sighs> anything wrong? or? No, I just kind of landed awkward coming off of it, and it just blew all my momentum. And so trying to restart down that home stretch and then hurdle again, it was just, I was, yeah. I mean, I'm happy with it except for that, but I mean, I won, so I'm more ecstatic than anything. Can you explain what went through your mind when you crossed that finish line? I don't I mean, it still hasn't even sunk it in. It's so many years of hard work. I feel like I've... <laughs> I mean, that was, that is amazing. I mean, I know a lot of people are, you're rooting for me and uh, thought I could do it. And I had the confidence, but there's always doubt going to the race and just to come out of it feeling the way I did and knowing I just, I just ran from the gun and accomplished my dreams was, I mean, it's an amazing feeling. Mason, you fell in the final last year and a year later you're an NCAA yeah. champion. Has that sunk in yet? <laughs> no, I mean, that's like kind of like a rags to riches story, I guess, something like that. But uh, I try not to think about that fall. I mean, I'm talking to you guys on Wednesday. Just I'm, I'm past it. You know, I can have a good sense of humor about it. Changed me as a person, an athlete, and just made me stronger. And I just came in here to prove it. Uh, if it wasn't any type of like redemption or anything that on my mind. It was just, I was just here to prove I could win. What, what do you have next planned for it, for yourself? Well, head back to Ann Arbor, get a solid week of training in or two. Um, like I said, I'm fitter I've ever been. I feel stronger I've ever been. And I've had a great, great spring so far. And just get ready for the trials. I, I mean, I'm running out there to run 66s. And I'm thinking to myself, man, if there's guys around me a challenge, I, you know, I could have run 65s. So I'm excited. I'm ready to go. You, you thought you might break about 820 till the yeah. last 200. Right. It was probably like a 31 and then a 38 the last 200, but... I mean, I mean, does that give you encouragement? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can fix the last 200 meters of a race. That's right. something that comes around. It is, you know, I wish I would have came with more speed off the barrier, but... Are we, were you tying up at that point, or did you just land weird on that left final barrier? I, a combination of everything, yeah. I mean, I was tying up, uh, landed weird, lost my momentum, but... Uh, <laughs> Got the line first. But you could tell they were way behind you? Yeah, I mean, I was just kind of praying, though, that no one was coming super hard. But, you know, I know I was going to get the line. Yeah, I had no cap. You ran a PR today solo. So how fast do you think you can run with people around you? I mean, like you said, it wasn't for the last 200. I probably would run 820. Um, I think I'm running 15 faster. I'm on a serious set. I don't think I can. And how was the wind out there? It was windy, yeah. I mean... But what a big deal. Like, if I'm up front and someone has to chase me 20 meters back, they're burning the wind as well. So. Were you surprised nobody went with you at all? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I thought I was going to have to shake someone over the last K. But I didn't realize that, you know, that much gap early on. Have you ever had to look back like that? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's a bad habit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. You graduated. What's next for you? Other than obviously the Olympic trials. Uh, you know, I'll be talking to some people and um, got some some good things going right now, and so we'll continue those talks and see what happens. I've got a really specific question. Yes. Can you explain your thought process when you're coming into water? What's in your head? Don't hit my foot on the front of the barrier like last year. No, I mean. I try to accelerate into it, and just so you, you know, carry the momentum off it in the, the last pit. I stuttered up onto it and had to jump up on top, and that lost all my momentum. But it's, you know, it's about just attacking it. You don't want to be passive over it. I'm just sorry. I gotta go sit down. I, Congratulations. I just gotta get. Yeah. Thank you.